is your wireless router susceptible to a uh, WPS attack? Well, let's go ahead and see that right now. What I'm gonna do is set up my USB wireless card. It's an Alpha Networks. I can believe I uh, told her to do anything class. The exact model, but if you need any information on that, just send me an email. I can uh, send the exact model. All right, let's get started. First things first, we need to connect the USB to the laptop here. Hold on one second. Take out my mouse. Just plug in my USB. Let's check. Let's see here. Go to USB. There's the Realtek connect adapter. Going to backtrack. Wconfig. And there's my wireless LAN zero. Now, if you had a uh, wireless network card using VMware on your laptop, you can do a bridge connection. But um, this is Mac, so it's set up a little different. But you can go here and go bridge ne network, and that'll bridge to your local network card, and that'll be ETH zero. But for now, let's use the USB Alpha card that I've got now. All right, now that we located the WLAN zero, next thing we need to do is put it into monitoring mode. So we're going to do air, airmon dash ng WLAN. Start WLAN zero. All right. Now we just put it to monitoring mode. As you can see here, it now named Mon zero. You have to remember this. This is your interface name, the one you want to use to scan and also do the attack. You can try some computers. You're able to do WLAN zero, but something you'll have to with it depends on the virtual machine or what computer you're using if it'll work or not okay so we got mon zero now let's go ahead and find a router that we want to do the attack to so let's go to here arrow dump dash ng mon zero that's our mon zero interface like i said that's our wireless card that's in monitoring mode i'm scanning and what you need to know also is you need to have around I believe it was negative 65 or lower number on the signal in order for this attack to work correctly I'd recommend around 60 to 61 so this is the network we're going to have do the attack to right there so let's go ahead and stop this control C and here is the BSS ID I need so I'm going to highlight that copy Let's go ahead and uh, put the commands into Reaver. Reaver is, I've already installed it, but if it's, it actually comes with Backtrack 5, but best thing to do is to update and install Reaver. So let's go ahead and do apt-get update. What that does updates your, oh. Here, let me, uh, let me fix my internet connection real quick. All right, what I had to do is, I guess I was messing with this before, I had it in bridge mode, I had to put it back to NAT. And when you change it back to NAT, you need to refresh, uh, release or renew the IP address. And in Linux, it's a little complicated. It's not like a simple um, button or anything. So let's go ahead and I can show you that real quick. What I'm gonna do is first do ifconfig to locate there's my ETH0. It's the one I need to release or renew in the IP. So what I'd like to do is I have config ETH0 and then that just sets, uh, shuts down the interface. I'm gonna turn it back on. And then we're gonna do DH client dash R to renew the, uh, or release the IP. 
and dh clients, which will get me a new IP address from the router. And as you can see, it renewed their IP for me. Simple commands, um, good to know. All right, let's go ahead and double check that everything is working still after messing with that. All right, we're still in monitor mode. Okay, let's go ahead and apt-get updates. What that's doing is updating my resource repository, uh, my package repository. So if you're familiar with Ubuntu, it's the uh, packaging system where you can, or it's kind of like App Store, but everything's free pretty much. All right. We can just refresh that. Now let's install Reaver and it's apt get install Reaver. As you can see, it's already installed, but uh, it'll ask you if you want to install. You hit yes, hit Y, and enter. Or press Y and hit enter. All right, let's get back on track here. Let's go ahead and start the attack. And it's Reaver I, which is the option for what interface you want to use. That's mod zero I want to use. Then we're going to do dash B, which is the BSSID. And we copy and paste that earlier, so let's paste that in. Then dash BV, which is very verbose. You want to do this, you know, let me show you without this. All it's going to do is show you, just sit there waiting for beacons. You're not going to see the attack actually happen. You're not going to see any errors. You're not going to see the pins if they're changing or not. So let's add control C. Let's add dash PV, which is very verbose. What this will do is log and show you everything. As you can see, it's checking to find out what channel this BSSID is on. And I believe on the previous screen we noticed it was on channel 12. So it's going to take a second. And there it is, associating with the router. As it states, start at 1234567.0. Now it's trying a random pin. And this, this is what you want to pay attention to is the pins. If it sticks on one number, just cancel it. After If it's, it's staying there after 10 minutes, cancel it because you're just an infinite loop. Something's, is, something's wrong. Um, the signal is probably not good enough and it's erroring out. But as you can see, pin numbers keep changing so this attack is working perfectly. So I'm going to stop this. I already did the attack pr prior because it'll take anywhere from three to six hours. It's, it's a long time. I, I actually started this attack and left my home and came back a few hours later and uh, it was complete. So, But the first time I did it, it actually took six hours. The second time I did it to a different router took a believe about four hours but um, all right so let me go ahead and show you the screenshot of that finished product and this is what the final result will look like right here this was like I said after four hours of waiting it located the pin, here's the WPS pin it found. When that actually associates with the router, it sends back the WPA password and here's the BSSID. It works. Um, I think the only router it does not work is mine. I can show you that actually. So let's go back to locate my uh, router real quick. What I have is the uh, E4200. What it does is after a certain amount of attempts, it'll actually lock you out for a certain amount of time. And that time, every time it attempts, your attempts fail like three times, I believe it is. After that, it locks you over five minutes. Then you try, th after five minutes, it attempts three more times, it locks you over 10 minutes. The time actually doubles. Right now, there's no way of actually protecting yourself from the hack, or excuse me, attack. Um, only way is to delay it, and hopefully it'll sway the um, 
the attacker to just give up on your router. But here's mine. My BSS ID is right here. Copy that. I'm going to do the reaver attack. And paste. I'm going to show you what a bad one will do. As you see, it's starting the pin. First pin, second pin, and it should lock out after a few attempts. And there it is, the third attempt, and then warning detected, AP rated limit, wait 60 seconds. And after that, it'll be, so it's 60 seconds, not five minutes, excuse me. So it'll go from a minute to two minutes, to three minutes to four minutes. So it's gonna continue to lock you out. So do your research in your routers, see if they have this option. Cisco is still looking for a solution to prevent this uh, attack. I think they should just get rid of the WPS completely because, I mean, it's not really that, it's really not that hard to set up the router with a step-by-step -step instructions nowadays. Prior, yeah, they had issues. You had to configure your router with your DSL or cable modem with the static IP, but nowadays everything with DHCP is not really an issue. Also, uh, MAC address filtering. I mean, if let's say you you set on your router MAC filtering, where the only people with the MAC address um, in the list can get on on that system. So what you use is go back to your air dump and do a scan. As you can see down here, shows not associated. It'll actually find the people that are associated to a router and their MAC addresses. So all I have to do is grab the MAC address and um, use MAC changer. Like, like, for instance, let me, let me do this real quick. Go ahead and unplug my wireless router. I mean, uh, USB uh, wireless NIC. Plug it back in. Okay, so we got that. Now, in backtrack, let's associate with utilities, where is it? Internet. Let's make life easy. Easily, uh, do we? Huh? Huh? Life's not easy, I guess. There it is. All right. There's the router we did the attack on. Will it connect? It's gonna say I need the key. Let's go ahead and get that from the screenshot here. Screenshot says a WPA PSK. I believe it's that one, I'm not sure. Is it shoe? Shoe, okay. Okay. And okay. All right, I'm connected. So let's use Firefox. Now notice on this router, this is a router that was set up by Comcast and they left it at the default username and password. So what I did was went in here, it's admin, helped out my neighbor to do not enter. I actually talked to the person and told them I did this. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go in. There we go. Slide this over a little bit. View connected devices. I believe this root is me. So let's see. 
what is my MAC address? CO19 and CO19. Now, this is the previously connected devices and it's not connected now, but I don't want them to see that I'm on here. So what I'm gonna do is take this, copy it, go into here, well first, let's go ahead and disconnect. Okay, disconnect. Okay, it should be connecting, disconnecting. If It's disconnected. So we first need to um, power off the interface. So what we're going to do is IF config and do WLAN 0 down. Now we're going to go ahead and use Mac Changer. It's built the, the, uh, the options in uh, Backtrack already. It's already installed. So we're going to do Mac Changer dash dash Mac paste in their MAC address, the HC, and put it on WLAN 0. Now it shows my current MAC, that's the Alpha MAC, that's CO19, and this is the fake one now. Let's go ahead and turn the interface back on, do up. back and connect to that router again. I'm going to always pause this so it's not wasting time. All right, we're associated with the router. It's connected and everything. Let's go ahead and see if this changed. It showed me as root 19. It's the pe person I want to be. Go ahead and go back to Now, as you can see, 19 was my old one, and now I'm 8C. Erase my previous MAC address. And it was like I was never there.